Sheeksters, hi queens, hope your day is going well. Like the title says, today's video is going to be the battle of the brand. <laughs> On this channel, we are huge fans of Target and Walmart, okay? And I would say in the last couple of years, both brands have definitely stepped up their fashion offerings. And because we love both brands, I decided to do a little bit of a peruse on Target and on Walmart. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the best of the best. Now I decided to create multiple rounds, just like a boxing match, and create categories for each round. Now, if you're new here, my name is Gigi and on this channel we cover fashion, beauty, and a lifestyle. So if you love Target or you love Walmart, make sure to hit that like button, okay? And let me know in the comments below which team you're on. I, you gotta pick a team. Now to make this a little bit more easy to judge at the end, I decided to create different rounds and categories per round. I just wanna quickly apologize for the audio. If you're any sh yelling or shouting, I'm just working with a new system right now and I'm trying to figure it out. So if you can hear my neighbors, my apologies, but the show must go on. So the first category is gonna be fall dates, right? And for whatever reason, when I think about dates, I'm thinking about dresses, so I went on this dress section of both Target and Walmart, and we're gonna go ahead and start with Walmart. Now, I don't know if you know this, but Walmart has this concession called the Eloquy Elements concession. If you're not familiar with Eloquy, Eloquy is kind of like a Zara for plus size girls, and they have a little concession on walmart.com. So I always check out their concession, and what I like about it is that it's not a lot of pieces, so it's really easy to scan through the section. And I came across this dress that I thought would be perfect for a date, even though it's fall, even though things are starting to get cool. I wanted something that, you know, you could show yourself off in a little bit. And so when I saw this dress, I thought it would be perfect. It's a sweater dress, so you are getting some warmth. I really liked the crisscross detail across the chest. I liked the fact that it had that belt detail and it's just a fun take on the typical sweater dress. Now you could pair this with like over the knee boots. If you really want to add that sex appeal or you could pair this with booties. And so this is what she looks like on me. Now I told you guys a while ago that I'm gonna be true, doing my best to share with you guys the good, the bad, and the ugly in these hauls. And let me know in the comments below if you guys are still down with me sharing the good and the bad <laughs> in these hauls. Now I would give this dress a seven out of a 10. Quality wise, I would give it an eight. Fit wise, I would give it a five for my shape. And then value wise, I'd give it a seven because it's, it's not like a $10 dress and it's not a $90 dress. So somewhere in the middle. So let me know what your thoughts are on this dress. Is she a yes? Is she a no? I decided to pair her with some pumps cause you know, date night. But like I said, you could totally pair her with a booty or even like an over the knee boot if you prefer that. I really like the fact that they paid attention to details with this dress. As you can see the bottom half of the dress, the ribbing is going vertically in the top half of the dress. The ribbing is kind of going horizontally, right? If you're a pear shaped girl, this is the dress for you because it has a lot of volume up top and it will help to balance out your lower half. And chances are, if you're pear shapes, you probably don't have as much of a belly. And if you will have more of like a block shape, so a little bit more of a rectangle, this will work too because the belt will help to cinch and create the illusion of a waist. And because it bells out up top, it also brings the eyes to the smallest point at your body. Now, for me, this personally didn't work for my shape because I carry a lot of weight in my BLT area, in that FUPA area. But if that doesn't bother you, then this is a very cute dress. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this dress. Is she a keeper or not? Let me know. So I went over to Target.com and of course I decided to search sweater dress just to keep things kind of even. And I found this dress, which I think is super cute. However, they had like limited sizing. And so I stumbled upon this dress and I was like, okay, we can make this work. Just because it's one of those pieces that's super versatile. You can pair this with sneakers, with booties, with over the knee boots, you name it. I'm pairing it here with pumps to kind of keep things continuous. Now I'm gonna give this 
seven and a half when it comes to quality, a seven and a half when it comes to value, and a six when it comes to fit. Now, it's your turn. Let me know in the comments down below who you think won this round, Target? or Walmart? Let me know in the comments down below. So the next category is gonna be outdoor activities. So think pumpkin patch, apple picking, wineries, etc., etc. You know, the temperature is like, goes all, is all over the place right now. So I wanted a look that would easily transition no matter what the temperature was kind of like outside, but still looked put together. So as soon as I saw this jacket on target.com, I was like, okay, add to cart. Just because I feel like this this is a dupe for a designer jacket. Like I feel almost sure of it, right? And so I love the contrast of the black stars against the green. And I really wanted the jacket to be the focus of this look. So I kept things very, very monochrome. And I went with one of my favorite basics ever, these high neck tanks from Target. Like I think I own about six or seven of them because they're just like the perfect layering piece. Right? So I tucked it in to some jeans. These jeans actually aren't from Target. They are Old Navy. I got them when I did a collaboration with them earlier in the summer. I got to try all of their straight leg jean styles. And I think it's a very simple outfit. And then for shoes, I just opted for something that would be super easy and comfortable if you had to do a lot of walking like that. Sis, if you don't have some of these staples, make sure you add this to cart. All right, let me know in the comments of what your rating is for this look. Are you liking it? You're not liking it? Now, for the Walmart version of this look. As soon as I saw this French cardigan, I was like, hmm. Hmm. It's a classic cardigan. However, I just love that the addition of the fringe, it just adds something to the look and makes it a little bit more special. And I was like, I need to see this up close. So I'm gonna give this cardigan overall rating of about an eight. Maybe, yeah, I, I would say an eight. For value, I'd give it like a six and a half. And then for quality, I'd give it like a seven. So maybe a seven and a half. And then for fit, I'd give it an eight. So probably a seven and a half. I paired it with this vintage style t-shirt from Walmart. Okay, please do not go to Urban Outfitters or any of those other sites and pay $40 for a vintage tee when you can get it for the low low at Walmart. Also, if you're a 90s baby, I don't know. Anytime I see MTV, like it gets me super nostalgic. 24 hours music videos. Do you remember that? TRL? Okay, I digress. All right. Anyways, whenever I see like MTV, what's the word? Merch, it always just takes me back. All right. And then I paired it into these jeans that it's like a cult favorite. People love these jeans because of the price and also because I think they really did a good job of nailing the style. It's kind of like that distressed mom jean situation. It's quite affordable compared to like other places. And I got this in a size 21. This is junior sizing. And so I typically size up one to two sizes just to accommodate the whole BLT, okay? And then to finish the look off, I went for chunky heeled booties just so that I have, you know, it's put together, but also it's comfortable. So let me know who won this round. Are we gonna go with Target or are we gonna go with Walmart? Let me know in the comments down below. Before we go into the final round, before we get to the final round, I want to know from you guys in the comments below who you think is winning so far. I think the final round will be the deciding round, but you may have already made up your mind. So let me know in the comments down below. Below. Also, if you want details to this top that I have on, my favorite necklace combo right now, make sure to check the description box down below. And of course, if you want links to the items that I featured in this video, let me know in the comments below and I will be sure to update that description box for you. All right, so the final category, and I think the most important activity is lounging. Okay, the loungewear category. I don't know about you, but when temps dip, okay, it's officially cuffing season. All you wanna do is like snuggle up with a partner or at least with your favorite blanket, okay? <laughs> with a hot cup of cocoa or some matcha or coffee or tea. Let me know in the comments below if you're a tea or a coffee drinker, whatever you're interested in. I just love a lounge look that can take me from lounging on the couch to Zoom meetings to Target. You 
know? And so when I saw this two piece set on target.com, I just, I bought two. Let me just be honest, because I just could see all of the potential. And I actually just filmed a reel showing all the ways that I style some of my favorite two piece sets. <laughs> Shameless plug, if you're not following me on Instagram, you missed it. I'm gonna put a link for you down below. Check it out and also join the IG family. All right, the quality, I'm gonna give it a nine. The value, I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. The fit, I'm gonna give it a nine, but I haven't washed it yet, so I don't know, which is why I'm giving it an overall eight. Also, I've been seeing these, you know, these collar shirts, like I said, and I love the fact that this kind of just marries comfort, but sophisticated comfort. Like, you know, like if somebody saw you in the Zoom meeting, they would not know that you're in basically, you know, your sweats, but sweats, but make it chic. You know, I like the little details, the piping details on the sides of this two piece set, the collar action, all of this just helps to make it more of an elevated basic. You can throw it on with some mules and run to Target or some sneakers must have. Now. I went to walmart.com. I almost feel bad though, because I actually found this set, which I think would have been more close, would have been a closer comparison, but I found it after the fact. So this is the set that I found at Walmart. So as soon as I saw them, I was like, okay, add to cart. Something about, you know, the print really caught my eye. It's like a tie dye, a print, but the colors are kind of muted. So it makes a statement, but without, and I could totally throw a biker, a leather jacket over it and edge it up a little bit more. You could pair it with some combat boots. You could pair it with a sneaker. It's just one of those pieces that's great for, you know, traveling. However, if you go buy the set, I suggest you size up one to two sizes, sis. Do yourself a favor because I thought I was going to choke in that. I almost had a a panic attack in this. It was so constricting, okay? So the sizing for whatever reason for scoop tend to run a little bit smaller. Don't know why, but they do. Anyways, aside from the fit issue, I'm gonna give it a six and a half for fit, a seven and a half for value, and then the quality, I'm gonna give it a seven. Okay, let's go with a seven and a half for the quality. Now, my biggest issue, as you guys can see, the tie dyes don't really match. And maybe because Walmart is actually selling them as two separate pieces, but they're basically the same color. They're basically the same print. So I would think they're set. As you can see, the top is a little bit lighter than the bottom and it, you can still make that work, honestly. So I would love to know your thoughts on this round. Who do you think won this round? Walmart or Target. Let me know in the comments down below. Now, no, 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 no. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna be in the comments. So let's continue the conversation down below. When I'm not on YouTube, you can always find me on Instagram. I'm always there in real time sharing my favorites, sharing my favorites in fashion, home decor, and so much more. If you need to get a hold of me really quickly because you're about to check out, you can always slide in my DMs on Insta. Also, again, anything that you see features because I always get messages and emails and DMs about things that I featured in previous videos, you can always find all of my featured items on the Like to Know It app. If you do not have the app, I highly recommend you download the app. Everything is super accessible and easy to shop. All you have to do is click and add to cart. And not only are you able to shop directly from the app, but you are able to save items for later. And now they have this cool feature where they will alert you when something goes on sale. Aside from that, all of your favorite, I mean, almost all of your favorite bloggers, influencers are on the app as well, sharing their favorites. So you don't have to wait for them to tell you where it's from. You can find out by yourself. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed.